All right, so today we are talking all about budget meals and these are all made with ground beef and these are probably some of my favorite recipes that I've made to date. They're gonna be some delicious ones and all of these meals are between one and $3 per serving so they are also super affordable. Let's jump right in. All right, so in today's video, I'm making four recipes. The first one is a cheeseburger bake. It's actually a bacon cheeseburger bake. Super delicious. I'm also making a cheeseburger soup in the crock pot that's made with cauliflower, so it's a little bit more low carb than if you would make it with potato. We're also making tater tot casserole, and then one of my family's favorites is a ravioli bake with ground beef. Okay, so all of these meals can be made as is, or you can also turn them into freezer meals, which is what I did. So basically, I started out by browning a whole bunch of ground beef. This is super economical, obviously, because you can buy ground beef on sale in bulk, cook it up at once, and make a bunch of meals out of it. I found ground beef for like around $4 per pound on sale at the grocery store, so that's a great time to snag it up. But basically, I just browned it in a big pot with some seasonings. I added some dried minced onion, some salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and then after it was done, I drained all of the fat out of it, and then I was left with more than enough ground beef for all of these recipes. I also went ahead and chopped a bunch of my veggies and shredded cheese. So I needed chopped onion for a few of these recipes. I went ahead and chopped that up ahead of time before I kind of put everything together. And then I also um, cut up some carrots. I needed that for one of the recipes and some celery. I needed to wash that and get that cut up as well. So I kind of pre-prepped all of those things ahead of time just to make it a little bit easier on myself. I also really love to use my food processor to shred cheese when I have a bunch of it that I need to shred. So I took advantage of that super quick and easy and convenient. All right, so we are gonna make a crock pot cheeseburger soup. This one happens to be low carb as it's made with cauliflower. I've made a version of this before with potatoes and it was really good as well. So I calculated out the price for this. It is $2.47 per serving. So in this crock pot here, I've got two pounds of my ground beef that I cooked up. I've also got an onion that I chopped up, some carrot and celery that I diced up, uh, garlic powder, dried basil, dried parsley, and then a 12 ounce bag of frozen cauliflower. So I've got four cups of chicken broth here. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. And I always like to keep the Knorr chicken bouillon on hand, which is what I prefer to use when a recipe calls for chicken stock or chicken broth. However, this does tend to be a little bit saltier than the chicken broth you can get in a can or a box. So I just prefer to salt to taste after it cooks. Now, all of this stuff, obviously the beef is cooked. I mean, the cauliflower needs cooked, but essentially we're just gonna cook this on low and I think it'll probably only need to cook, I don't know, maybe about four hours, we'll see. And then after that, we'll add the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we cooked this soup on low for four, about four hours and it's smelling really good. I'm gonna go ahead and add the final ingredients. So I'm gonna add two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I shredded this myself using a food processor, but if you want to, you can um, use pre-shredded. And then I've just got half a cup of heavy cream. And then I'm just gonna stir this around and let it melt and kind of just heat through um, on low. And then once everything is combined and heated through, I will taste it and see if it needs any other seasonings. Okay, so I've actually mentioned this in a couple of videos, but just in case you haven't seen those, I've actually partnered up with Freezer Fit to become an expert chef on their site. And so I'm super happy to be collaborating with them. I have a lot of my recipes now on the Freezer Fit website. And so I wanted to kind of take this opportunity when I'm talking about budget meals and freezer cooking to talk about how Freezer Fit works. Because if you're watching this video on the first day that it comes out, we actually have a huge back to school sale going right now. If you're not watching it on the first day and that it's out, it's okay. You can still take advantage and get a great deal on the membership. But let me tell you a little bit about it. If you're not familiar with Freezer Fit, it's actually a lifetime membership. So it's only a one-time fee to join. And the reason why I love it so much is because I think it really works for anyone who's a super busy working mom, or if you're just busy, a busy person in general, um, it's really, really cool. I'm actually gonna give you a tour of the website here in a little bit, but essentially how it works is that their website has hundreds and hundreds of recipes 
of course myself, hundreds of my recipes are on there as well. And we're actually working our way towards a thousand recipes on their site. But what's really cool about it is that basically you can build custom menus and shopping lists based on the meals that you want to make. And so essentially you can pick, like let's say you wanna do you know, prepping some freezer meals on an evening or a weekend when you have a couple hours to spare, you can go pick out your recipes, create your shopping list, order your groceries and you can have everything done in just a couple of hours, stick everything in your freezer and everything is ready to go. I love it, it's super convenient. Now that my kids are getting older and they're getting into sports all the time, I find that making meals in the crock pot that we can keep warm like throughout the evening are really really convenient because everyone can just kind of take you know as they want throughout the night now all of the recipes on the site are not crock pot recipes they have oven recipes grill recipes obviously the ones that i'm showing you today are on the website as well and some of these you know we're making in the oven they have instant pot recipes and the great part also is that they come uh, with labels so you can actually print the labels off for the recipes that you're making and you can put them right either on the freezer pan or on the Ziploc bag and then basically you have your instructions right there. It just makes getting dinner on the table on a weeknight <laughs> super quick and easy. I can't recommend it enough. You also get access to a private Facebook group. So I think it's a great deal and I love that it's not a recurring cost. It's just like a one-time fee and then you're in for life. So let me show you guys around the website. All right, so we're on the Freezer Fit website and I've just logged into my account Account. As you can see, there's quite a comprehensive dashboard here, but today we're just going to go into the recipes because I kind of just want to show you how the recipes and the shopping list work. So there's a ton of different recipes in here. Basically, you can go through here and filter by many different things. So if you want a certain type of of diet let's say you're doing low carb or you're cooking for someone who's vegan or vegetarian or something like that you can filter by that you can filter by cuisine if you just want to look at one person's recipes like for example you could filter by my recipes you just choose my name and then click search and then it will bring all of my recipes up you can also search by type of protein so if you just want to do beef meals or chicken meals so tons of different options in here okay so let's choose this breakfast tater tot casserole this is actually one of my recipes and what you can do once you choose the recipe is you can add it to the shopping list so if you click on that all right and then we can go through here and decide which ingredients we already have that we won't need from the store so i know actually that i have a bag of tater tots in my freezer so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that you just click on the little trash can icon um, i do need eggs i probably need cheese i need sausage green onions and then all of the spices i tend to always have those on hand so i'll just remove those so then you can go back up to your recipes and start over again and then go ahead and add several more ingredients Okay, so we're also gonna do these slow cooker chili dogs, which is an awesome recipe. Add that to the shopping list. And then again, I can go down here and see what I don't need. All right, once you've got all of your shopping list put together, you can either download it or you can print it. I always prefer to print things, so that's what I'm gonna do. And the thing I like about it also is that it will separate it into categories, so it's easier to shop that way. Okay, so like I said, if you are watching this video on the day it comes out, make sure to snatch up this membership while you can because it is at a pretty awesome discounted price right now. But even if you're not watching it on the first day, like I said, it's still a great deal. So either way, I'll have that link down below. You can hop on over there and purchase the membership and I will see you guys on the inside. All kinds of fun stuff going on. I've also been teaching VIP classes twice a month there. Just tons, tons and tons of cool stuff that you're gonna get access to. So I can't wait for you to check it out. Okay, so this is the slow cooker cheeseburger soup. <clears throat> it turned out so good, I really love it. So I garnished this with some shredded cheddar cheese, just a little bit of chopped pickle and some green onion. If I had bacon bits, I would put bacon bits on here too. All right, so I put together a cheeseburger casserole and I'm really excited to see how this turns out. It sounds really good. 
So this is another freezer meal. Essentially you would freeze it like this and then thaw it out and bake it in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and bake it right now because uh, we're gonna have it for lunch today. But basically I used one pound of browned uh, ground beef. Um, I added some garlic to that and then I took about eight strips of center cut bacon and just crisped those up in a skillet. You could also do it in the oven. Um, and then I chopped those up. I put that in this freezer pan along with the ground beef and then I whisked up four eggs with about three ounces of tomato paste. I added a cup of heavy cream or you could also add milk if you wanted to. This is technically like a low carb keto recipe. I added salt, pepper, some Worcestershire sauce and then poured the egg and tomato paste mixture over top added some shredded cheese and I'm gonna bake this in the oven. I have the oven set at 425 right now, so I'm probably gonna bake this covered at first um, and then we'll remove the foil at the end to let the cheese brown up. But this one is also super budget friendly. It actually comes out to only $1.66 per serving. And then basically you can top it with any kind of like cheeseburger toppings that you'd like. Okay, so I think I baked this a little bit too long, but it was still really good. I basically topped it with traditional burger toppings. So a little bit of ketchup, mustard, some red onion, some shredded lettuce, and some chopped tomatoes. I also put some dill pickles on there, but this did turn out really good. Okay, so I feel like I can't do a budget ground beef video without talking <laughs> about tater tot casserole. And I decided to split it up into these small ones because I want to bake them off individually. I get these small freezer pans from Timu. They have tons of different sizes on there, so I can link them down below. But this is super simple to make. Basically, I just use about a pound and a half of browned ground beef. I added a can of cream of chicken soup to that along with a little bit of milk. Season it however you want. Sometimes I add Worcestershire. Um, I usually add salt, pepper, garlic powder, and then I stirred in a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. Those are super cheap at Walmart as well. You basically spread it in the dish and then you can top it with American cheese. So the cheese is optional. Some people don't like their tater tot casserole with cheese. I always use American cheese, but if you wanted to use cheddar, you could use that as well. You could even use like low fat cheddar if you wanted to save some calories. And then basically you just top it with tater tots. And like I said, I split this out. I'm gonna go ahead and bake one of these just so you guys can see how it looks and Adam will eat that for lunch today. But then the other two I will stick into the freezer. Um, these freeze really well and then all you have to do is basically let them thaw for a day in the fridge before you wanna bake it and you bake it in an oven. I typically bake mine at 425 degrees and it takes about 30 to 40 minutes because I like the tater tots to be super crispy on top but obviously you can do that to your preference as well. Okay, so this particular dish comes out to only $1.78 per serving. And what I did is I just keep some labels, some sticker labels in my kitchen drawer along with a permanent marker so I can label bags when I need to. One thing I didn't mention about the Freezer Fit site is that they actually have printable labels that you can print on your home printer with all of the instructions and everything like that. So it's super convenient. I know how to bake this because I've done it a million times. So I just labeled it with that, but here's what it looked like when it came out of the oven. Really, really good. I did garnish it with some green onions. Uh, like I said, if you want to portion out your freezer meals, I highly encourage you to use these small freezer pans. They are really, really convenient. All right, so here is our ground beef uh, baked ravioli freezer meal. This comes out to only $2.55 a serving, and honestly, this is a lot of food, so you'll probably have leftovers but this is super easy to make. Basically, you just take a freezer pan and then you layer uh, jarred marinara sauce with frozen ravioli. Now you can use any type of ravioli that you'd like. You can even use tortellini if you want to. Um, some people call this like a lasagna, like a shortcut lasagna. But basically I used a large bag of frozen cheese ravioli, some of the cooked ground beef, and then some mozzarella cheese on top, and I used two 24 ounce jars of marinara sauce that I just had in the pantry. So you just label start, or label, <laughs> layer starting with the uh, marinara sauce on the bottom, and then you add a layer of frozen ravioli, another layer of marinara, and I sprinkled some of the cooked ground beef in there as well. I did three layers of that, topped it with additional sauce, and then cheese now obviously this goes into the freezer and then you can take it out and bake it whenever you'd like 
I like to bake mine covered for probably the first, I don't know, 30 minutes or so just to make sure that it doesn't dry out and it heats through. But towards the end, I will take the foil off and obviously let the cheese brown a little bit. I have my oven set at 400. Um, it obviously depends on how thawed or frozen your ravioli bake is. Mine is um, pretty thawed out, so I don't think it'll take super long. I'm gonna start with 30 minutes and see how it goes. All right, so here's our finished ravioli bake. Turned out really good. Um, I probably baked it for, I don't know, about 40, 45 minutes. I took the um, foil off towards the end. We're gonna have it with some garlic bread and a salad. Obviously, you can get this recipe along with hundreds of others, customizable shopping lists, freezer bag labels, all kinds of fun stuff over at the Freezer Fit website. So I'll have that link down below, check it out. Even if the back to school sale is over when you're watching this, it's still a fantastic deal. So make sure you check it out and I will see you over in the membership. I do two VIP classes there per month as well. So you'll get more content. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this budget video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.